In this video, we're going to give you an overview of the Brother Stellaire XJ2. This is the latest Stellaire on the market. This is the top of the line in the Stellaire series. It is a combination sewing and embroidery machine. It's packed with features on the sewing side and it's packed with features on the embroidery side. So let's show you and give you a good brief overview of this machine. It has a real pretty sleek finish on the top. Got the cover here I can open up. I will have an independent bobbin winder that I can thread up my bobbins while I'm sewing. We have the horizontal spool pin here and everything's going to be channeled for me threading the machine. It's a super breeze all the way down to the needle. I do have a built-in needle threader on the machine. All I have to do is push a button and it's going to engage my needle threader, pull the thread through the eye of the needle and leave it so I'm ready to embroider at that point or so. It does have the top drop-in bobbin system on it. This machine on the bobbin is going to be really easy to thread as well. There's a channel that I run the thread through. There's a little raise that snips off the excess for me. It will have the seven point feed dog system for my sewing side. That's great because if I'm working with lighter weight material, it's going to feed that material through nice and even and flat as the needles penetrate in the garment. For heavier materials, the more surface area I've got touching my fabric, the better off I'm going to be. When you get to quilting, sewing heavier materials, multiple layers, you'll be glad you had the feed dog system this machine has. There's markings on my needle plate for getting seam allowances on the front and on the back of the needle plate as well. Has the full color screen with thousands of colors built in. Because I have my embroidery unit on right now, it's automatically going to embroidery mode and there's sensors on the machine and error messages, things that will tell me to do right out of the box. Going from one application to another, it'll tell me to do things to the machine. Now I'm gonna hit okay. And it's gonna automatically calibrate the machine and the embroidery unit for me. And I have four different modes that I'm working with. One, I can leave my embroidery unit on if I wanna to go to sewing mode. If I wanna go back to embroidery mode, I just hit one button and the machine will automatically go to embroidery mode. Now you can take the embroidery unit off and it's most of the time when you're in sewing mode, you're gonna to wanna to have the embroidery unit off of the machine so you can hem pants, shirt sleeves, and things of that nature and get the embroidery unit out of the way. But if you're doing something quick or if you just want extra support, you can leave that embroidery unit on and actually will support the way the material while I'm embroidering or sewing on the machine. So let's go into sewing mode. The machine will tell me it's gonna automatically go back to sewing mode and the machine has a lot built into it. There's hundreds of utility stitches, quilting stitches, garment construction stitches, appliques, heirloom sewing, it's got it all on it and a lot of them. The machine will show me in the true size the stitch is so I never have to do test swatches anymore. It will show me on screen how wide, how long a stitch is as soon as I adjust it. My width setting is right here. My length setting is right here. So if I want to make that stitch wider, it show me in that actual size all the way up to seven millimeters. I can change tensions here. I can memorize stitches together when you get to decorative patterns. If you want to make a decorative border, you're able to do that. Just pull a stitch up, hit memory, and you can combine those together. There are alphabets on the machine in sewing mode for making quilt labels and garment tags. If you want to do an initial on a dress shirt, things of that nature. Then you can convert over and go to the embroidery for doing a lot larger uh, letters on the machine. There are a lot of computer controls built right on the front of the machine. It makes it easy for me to access different portions of the machine or change things. So really a lot of nice convenience features on the XJ2. Here's my needle threader button. I can override the speed of the machine. Now it will come with a foot control, but I do have built in start stop. So if I don't want to use that foot control, I can just hit on off switch there. Here I'm able to raise and lower my presser foot. This comes in handy when I'm sewing. I say I'm quilting, I get to the end of my seam and I want to turn a corner. If I'm appliquing a design onto a garment, I can leave the machine or set it so my needle here, which is needle up, needle down, I can have the needle stop in the fabric and then I can hit this button to raise my presser foot and then turn my fabric as I'm turning a corner. I have a built-in scissor at my beck and call that I can snip a thread anytime that I want to. And I do have a, the reinforcement stitch key here. This is really nice to have because now I can change it. I can have the machine tie the stitch off underneath so it's hidden and out of the way. No more ugly back tacks 
with the XJ2. It'll be hidden and out of the way. You do have traditional reverse here if you do want a back tag, but no, now I have this built into my machine that will tie that off and hide that back tag for me so no one ever see it. For you quilters and garments, for you quilters and garment sewers, you're gonna really love this. From a needle to the inside of the sewing arm is 11 inches of space. I have a lot of space here that I can roll up a quilt or if I'm working with a larger garment. It's really nice to have the embroidery unit on when I'm doing that. That just helps support the weight of the material. There are optional extension tables you can get if you don't want this bump of the embroidery unit in the way. We do carry those and can help you find the right one for your machine. We'll zoom in on the screen in just a minute and show you both sewing mode and embroidery mode of all the different functions. Now, if I wanna go over into embroidery mode, I can easily do that. I'm gonna go back home, hit okay. Now I wanna go and do some embroidery. Here's the main screen on my embroidery mode. I can have designs that are built in. You're not gonna to need to purchase any designs right out of the box. Everything is in themes. My embroidery designs, alphabet fonts that are built in, I have several alphabet fonts. I can do upper and lower case punctuation. I have these real pretty motifs that gives me the full letter. So if I want to do the letter of say someone's last name, you can easily do that on a backpack, on a shirt sleeve, on a back of a shirt. If you want to get a piece of material embroidered on and then frame that, that's a great gift. You have a lot larger motifs built in. I'm seeing a lot of ladies now wearing larger alphabets on the front of a garment. You can easily do this all built into the machine so I don't have to worry about I got to buy anything. Now I can go down. I have all these different borders that I can pull, pull up and do around designs by making patches and things of that nature. I have some embroidered buttonholes on this machine. So I want to do some real pretty embroidered that will stand out. You have that as well. I have the Disney characters built in. Six themes, the most popular themes built into the machine. Every theme will have several designs, all the, the more popular characters that you're used to seeing, if Disney's your thing. And then I have a big, pretty satin stitch alphabet that's built in. The XJ2 does have the My Design Center. This is great for adding things to the motifs. If I wanted to say I had a stippling pattern that I wanted to create and pull up, I can do this and merge it with my embroidery. Now you have quilt embroidery that you can do on the machine. There's a lot more information on the website as well as Brothers website on the My Design Center. So now if I want to go back home, I want to do that. And then I can go in and show you, we're going to zoom in on the screen. Now I'm going to show you some details of the sewing side and the embroidery side. So you can see that a little bit better than I'm showing you here. Now here I can go in and I'm going to show you I have the wireless network. I, this machine's Wi-Fi ready. I can pull up and actually connect my machine to my wireless router on my computer. At that point, I can send a designer wirelessly into this machine. As you'll see in a minute, we can actually connect this machine to a couple miles of the scanning cut. If you do not own a scanning cut, or maybe you want to know, well, how could I interface this with a scanning cut? That's when you give us a call. We can tell you and show you different things about this machine. Here I can go in and change positions of the needle. If I want to use a mouse, just like on your computer, instead of touching the screen with my finger or a little stylus, I can get a mouse and actually attach it to the machine. There's things on my sensors, the volume, if I want to turn the volume of the machine off, if I want to adjust the brightness of the screen, I'm able, if I want to adjust the brightness of the LED lights, now this machine will have full illumination on it. It pops out and the entire bed of this machine will be illuminated when I have it here all the way on five. I can adjust the brightness of my screen. We can change a lot about the background of the screen as well. And I have 11 pages here of things that I can do. Change the screen saver, just like on your computer, if you want it to stay on all the time. Or while you're away, you can have the screen saver engage. Here's where I can connect to my scanning cut. It'll show me the stitch count. This really helps you between your services on the machine. Or if you just want to know how many stitches is on your machine at any given time, you're able to do that right there. Then I can go in here, I can change when I'm in embroidery mode. If I want to pull up a thread name, I can do it. If I want a color, a color name, depending on a thread palette that you're working with, or just the name of a color, it will do 1,050 stitches per minute. On embroidery, the slowest you can get by with and be comfortable with, the better quality your embroidery, 
Now the XC2 will go up to 1,050 stitches per minute. That is super fast. That's faster than even some commercial machines that's on the market. Change the thumbnail size. I can change my background of my screen. Sometimes everybody's eyes are different and changing that background of the screen may help you be able to see better, or if you want to try to match that to a fabric you're working with, then when I'm in embroidery mode, I can actually overlay my design onto that background and see about how it's going to look before I have embroidered everything out. And then once I get everything like I want, I hit OK. It's going to save everything for me. Now, if I go here, I do have videos built in. There's a sewing guide built in, a pattern explanation guide that's built in. There's a pattern explanation guide that's built in. There are videos built in. We can scan QR codes on our tablet, but there's all kind of things already on the screen here that I can go into and it's going to show me how to wind a bobbin, how to do different things on the machine. These come in really handy after hours when we're not open and you need to do something. I don't know about you, we tend to set our hobbies down from time to time. We may forget how to do something. You're gonna have these at your beck and call at any given time. We do have a lock built onto the XJ2, so if I wanna lock that and make sure nobody gets into it, maybe you have little ones around, you know, they can't push a button and start the machine you know, automatically. And then we can always go back home. Now I want to go into the sewing side of the machine. I'm going to zoom in and show you some things about what all sewing, quilting, utility stitches, all the different features built in in a little bit greater detail. So here on the screen I have utility stitches and I have decorative stitches. Everything's laid out thematically on this machine. So let's pull up this little blanket stitch here. It's going to show me in the actual size of what this stitch is. So as I adjust my stitch width, notice how that stitch will go up. It goes up to seven millimeters in width. So no more doing test runs on fabric. It's going to show me exactly what that stitch is going to look like. Another nice feature is I have a mirror image. I can flip that around so it almost doubles the amount of stitches that's on the machine. You may be applying something there's a pocket in the way or doing something there's a seam in the way. Flipping a stitch around sometimes will make a big difference. Not all brands gives you that particular feature, but it's on the XJ2 at your beck and call. Notice on the right side here, I have all these tabs. Everything's laid out thematically for me. So now I can go into the overcast stitches. You have all the popular overcast blind hems built in on this one. I have even more overcast stitches here and applique stitches. It has several of the most popular styles of one-step buttonholes on it. This machine will come with a standard attachment. I can place the button I'm working with and it's going to size it every time to the button I'm working with, all in one operation. And then I'll have other uh, stitches built in that I can do different overcasting, decorative, appliqueing. You've got all of it on this machine. I do have a memory button here, so if I'm in my decorative mode, then I can pull stitches up. These are even bigger and I can memorize and make decorative borders. These are going to be a lot wider, a lot longer. They really stand out. If you get you a real pretty embroidery thread or decorative thread, these are going to pop out on your garment when you sew them and install them on your garment. And I can go back to utility just by pushing a button. Ken Sewing Center is your authorized brother dealer. We carry everything for the XJ2. Any machine you purchase from us, you're going to get our premium support package. We're here to help you for the life you own the machine. I have four full-time technicians here six days a week to help you. Several educators on site to help you learn how to operate it. You can just be sitting in front of your machine, pick up the phone and call us, and we can go out to our machine and talk you through things over the phone and be able to help you with anything you have need of. Check out our website. If you have more questions, please call us. We'd love to hear from you.